I'm good enough. Oh God, Mac, <laughs> sit, sit. No, here you go. Good job. <laughs>What's up, gang? It's David. Um, we're doing another video here. Uh, we did this everyday carry video with Marquez on the main channel like last week, two weeks ago, at some point in time. But we got a bunch of comments being like, what does the studio use every day? And so we figured, well, I guess we should do an everyday carry video, right? So I'm gonna start, everyone else is gonna do theirs uh, after me, but uh, I figured let's just get going ahead. Um, all right, so for phones, I actually carry two phones on me. Uh, I use an iPhone and then whatever the latest Android phone that I'm like helping Marquez review is. So like, say he was reviewing the S22 Ultra, which we totally don't have right now. I would be reviewing like the S22 Plus or the S22 and then we would compare notes and then that's sort of how we like form our reviews over time. Uh, so when he re reviewed the Pixel 6 Pro, I was reviewing the regular Pixel 6 and I've been using it for a while. I did switch to this Pixel 6 Pro for a little bit but I didn't really like it compared to the regular Pixel 6. Um, I just like the flat display. I think it has a little bit better battery life. I'm using this Moment case with it right now, which gives it MagSafe capabilities, which feels like blasphemy. Uh, but it's really nice to be able to go home and literally like slap this on a MagSafe charger because we've got these like floating MagSafe chargers at home. And it feels wrong, but it also feels very right. Otherwise, I'm using an iPhone 12 Pro, and I mostly use this sort of as a beacon device um, because I also use an Apple Watch Series 6. I use a bunch of AirTags because the Find My Network is kind of insane. I don't use that many apps that other people don't use. I mean, obviously, I'm all over Twitter. However, uh, Pocket Casts, I am a hardcore podcast person, so I'm always listening to podcasts through Pocket Cast. So I've got like all these podcasts that auto-download, take up most of my storage. And then Telegram, uh, I've managed to get most people that I know on Telegram, and you should too. That is a PSA. But the headphones that I'm using are the OnePlus Buds Pro, and I'm not using them for like any particular reason. Um, mostly just like they came out and I was sort of surprised at how nice they look. The sound is okay, and I will never use wireless earbuds that don't have wireless charging because I just get home and I set them on the charger and then in the morning when I'm going out for my morning walk, I just pick them up. I've literally never thought, do these need to be charged ever, which is, it's, it's the best thing. Wired earbuds, I actually carry wired earbuds with me too. And the main reason for that is that when I'm using my laptop, I don't like to have any latency and on wireless earbuds on my laptop, there's always some sort of latency, whether I'm editing video or if I'm playing Dota or doing something, I don't like to have latency. So I use these earbuds by one more and um, I actually lost the tips of them, but then I was on a Delta flight and they gave me those like really cheap Delta earbuds, but I took the tips off and put them on these. So these are special edition because these usually have black tips, but these are white now. <laughs> um, I also have an AirTag on my keys with a D-Brain case on it. Uh, this is my gym sort of like tag that gets me in 24 seven to my climbing gym. And then my keys in my building. And then the other two things I carry are my cameras. So I generally have the Fujifilm X100V with me, um, which I also, uh, I also have this lens adapter, which makes it a 50 millimeter instead of a 35. Technically this is a 23, but 35 equivalent. And then this turns it into a 50. So it's nice to be able to just like screw that on quickly and use that as often as I can. And I carry this, these with me every day. So I always have a digital camera with me. And then the film camera that I carry with me is my Fujifilm TX1, which is a panoramic 35 millimeter camera. I have a couple lenses for it. I've got a 45 millimeter F4 and a 90 millimeter F4, but I have this with me all the time because it gets very unique shots that you just can't really get on any other camera. And I'll have like various random film cameras that I carry on with me too, but this is the one that I carry with me like every day. Uh, and then I've also got this little beers and cameras film holder that it can fold, hold an extra uh, canister of film with. Uh, I think that's about it. So I'm gonna pass this on to everybody else on the team and I'll see you later. Uh, where do we start? Um, let's go with the biggest item, 14 inch. MacBook Pro, of course, with the D-brand skin and third angle or second angle is gonna get wallpaper of the day. Boom. Shot this myself. This is my camera that I can bring around. This is an X-T3 
It's supposed to be like a digital film camera. I love the body style. It's super compact, 23 mil, also very compact. Adam and I's collab for his OPZ from Teenage Engineering. That's probably my favorite photo. It's in the top down set. This is my Series 3 watch. I've had this for, I wanna say over three, four years now. This is a Nomad strap actually that I stole from Brandon. This is a Trove wallet, similar to Marquez's, but this one's all yellow. Got a couple cards in there, can't really show that one. Of course I have D-Brand mask. And for my phone, I have a 13 Pro. Picked this up when it released. Um, this is my wallpaper. Hopefully this ends up in a video soon. It will. Uh, I actually scout a lot of backgrounds from backdrops, so there's this one dude that has a lot of our favorites. I keep the Red Control app right next to it, so anytime we need to access the V Raptor or Komodo, I'm usually the one handling that. These are all very standard. I have one page which a lot of people are surprised about, so if you swipe over, it's just all my apps, and I actually like looking through all the apps that way. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this phone. Love the 13 Pro, camera's amazing. So much fun. Okay, so this is my EDC. Um, I am going to start with the things in my pocket. So this is my wallet. It's a Belroy slim sleeve, very minimal, cool, done, boring wallet. This is Bird Spee's chapstick. I think you'll see this again in this video at some point, if I'm correct, because someone else here also uses Bird Spee. It's the same one. We use the same chapstick. We just pass it back and forth. Uh, my Gen 1 Pixel Buds, because I had the Pixel Buds A and I lost them like a smart person. So now I'm back on these which, you know, they get the job done. They're not great, but whatever. Then I use the CWMT Herring Blade for opening packages. It's just a really slim box cutter. Technically not legal in New York City, I'm pretty sure. We work in Jersey. <laughs> we work in Jersey most of the day. Uh, the phone I use is the Pixel 6. Has an exclusive, I don't know if you can see that, exclusive wallpaper by Vin. Drop your wallet address in the comments below. Um, then I use, okay, so now we're out of my pockets. These are just the things I use every day. I have the iPad mini, the new one. Love this thing. Forgot the pencil today, so it's kind of a little less useful, but still nice. Another VIN exclusive. This is my man purse. It's the dispatch sling pouch. I have, just like VIN does, another peak design thing for my keys on here. I lost my keys in the last like hurricane that we had, and I just noticed. <laughs> There's no air tag in here, so that defeats the purpose of that live on camera. <laughs> I have no idea, but I can find it. Anyway, moving on. In my purse, I have a pen. This is uh, the Micron pen. Love those. I have a Leatherman Free. This I believe is the P, yeah, it's the P4 in case we have to like, usually I do this for like random things around the studio when someone's like, does anyone have this? And I'm like, yeah, I do. But it's very rare. I just like being that guy, I'm the knife guy. Then I have the Olight S1 Baton in titanium flashlight. Cause sometimes you need a real flashlight, especially in winter when it gets dark. SD card adapter because I take pictures, put it on the iPad mini, and that's pretty much how I edit all my pictures on Instagram, on Twitter, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, then I have a spare battery, because that happens to me all the time. I use the Sony a6500, which has terrible battery life, and it dies all the time, so I always have at least one of these on me. That's pretty much it. That is a, uh, oh, my watch. This is the G-Shock Casio. I think the actual number is GA2110, ET-8A, and um, yeah, that's that's my EDC. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here till Thursday. Uh, these are my things. I don't have very much, but um, I guess first things first. I have a 14-inch MacBook. 14 because it's it's manageable in a backpack. It gets the job done. This is like pretty close to being maxed out, so it handles red raw. You've heard this before. Handles red wall pretty well. Um, and then I have keys. I have an AirTag. I have my apartment keys. I have my parents' house key. And uh, I have my mail key on here too. So uh, make sure to, oh, that's bent. 
Um, I have <laughs> I have AirPods. Um, I'm actually getting on a flight later, so I have my AirPods Max in my bag. But um, I usually use these for just like walking around. I love transparency mode. For that fact, living in a city, transparency mode is a must. The only other thing that I consider somewhat important is my sketchbook. Um, this is from like Muji, Muji. I don't know, it's like paper goods, penware. They've gotten into furniture recently. Yeah, I'd say as for, for anything else, I have my phone, which is a, a thir 13 Pro. Um, I have it in this, this blue gray color, which I really dig. I love Fitness Plus. Um, I use Google Keep a lot, which is where I basically just throw down all of the ideas or like things I have to do to like remember later. Oh, Solitaire. Solitaire. <laughs> I, I play Solitaire constantly. It's a fantastic little thing to have on your phone when you're feeling stressed or whatever. My, my lowest score is 103. So, get it. Oh, I have I have an Apple Watch. This is, I upgraded my Apple Watch for the first time in like four years, five years. Um, I got a Series 7. I'm very happy with it. Um, it's the titanium one, which uh, it scratches very easily. I didn't think it would, but it does. I have my wallet in here, and then I have my chapstick twinning with Adam. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't carry cash in my wallet. Anyways, those are all my things. Thank you. I really don't carry that many things with me on a daily basis. In fact, I make it a point to carry as little as I can. So the only things that go in my pockets every day are one, my phone. This is a Pixel 5. I don't really have any standout apps on here. I, again, I try to keep as few apps as I can on my phone, but I guess the one that I use uh, pretty frequently is Transit. This just gives me local train times so I can see exactly when the train that I need is, is gonna pull up to the station, super handy. One of the other three things I carry with me is the Galaxy Buds from Samsung. I think these are the Buds 2. Uh, and they're nothing special. I just, you know, they, they're, they're comfy, they fit in my ears really well. Um, they sound pretty good for wireless earbuds. Um, sometimes I'll bring my Sony Mark IV over ears or the uh, AirPods Max. And of course, the other thing that I carry with me, I, I forgot to bring with me today, but it's, it's my wallet, uh, Taylor Stitch Minimalist Wallet. It holds two cards on each side. I really love it. You know, I don't really think you need that many cards with you on a daily basis. And it's slim enough that it fits in my front pocket, which is where your wallet should always go. Now, the other things I use on a daily basis pretty much just stay at work for the most part. Uh, first thing is my MacBook Pro. This is a 14 inch M1 Max, like fully spec'd out model. Just came out a couple of months ago. I really, really love this computer. It's enough to handle all of the video editing that I do for work, even with red footage like what we're shooting right now. It's really fantastic. The other thing is the camera that I normally shoot on. This is the Canon R5. It's one of their newer mirrorless cameras. It's got really great color that matches well with red footage like this. I use the Canon 15 to 35 mil RF lens. You know, 15 to 35 is a good sort of handheld, uh, I guess vloggy feel if you want to call it that. The last thing that I keep at my desk really more than anything is these guys from a, a company called Monogram. This is, I believe, the creative, creative, uh... So this is the Monogram Creative Console. Uh, it's this modular system. You can basically take all the different uh, components apart, attach them magnetically, and uh, assign all these different knobs and dials and buttons for different functions, depending on whatever app you want to use. So I use this for Final Cut for mostly color correction, exposure correction, and so on. But I really don't carry that much stuff, so this is about all that I use on a daily basis. That's it. Let's go. I'll start off with my phone, Pixel 4 XL. Same wallpaper I've been using for like four years, the Dave 2D wallpaper. And I just have this thing where like, when I change my wallpaper, I look at it for like two minutes and then hate that everything looks different. So I change back. Probably half the reason I'm also still using a Pixel 4 XL because I'm just too lazy to go and change my phone. Uh, D-Brand grip case though, robot camo, which is my favorite skin, which kind of also goes into my mask. I'm also in the Burt's Bees Club. Brandon and Adam, chap lips are the worst. I think Quinn had a tweet once 
That's the most true tweet I've ever seen, which was, you finally start using chapstick and it works, except then it makes your lips so delicate that you have to use it for the rest of your life, pretty much. Um, Trove Slim Wallet, they sent us one of these custom icons ones. So can't buy this anywhere. One of one baby. Key fob, just bought a new car. That's why it doesn't have my house keys on it, which means I hope Claire gets home before I do. And then I don't have a lot of, uh, I don't carry like a laptop and stuff. So I just brought my backpack over and we'll figure out what's in here together. Moment travel wear, dig this color. Water bottle, stay hydrated. Apparently it's a road water bottle, pretty sweet. Got a beanie, motorized precision beanie because it's cold outside. Keep the ears warm. Linus banana because you always got to measure things. Skinny pop popcorn. This actually is probably the closest to my everyday carry. This is amazing. Sponsor us. Soda. I really wish this was in the refrigerator because I'm eating lunch soon and it's gonna be warm. <laughs> Bandages and gauze because I really burnt my hand. Uh, oh, thank you, Brandon. Can you uh, give us some time? Yeah. 149. <laughs> Probably time to wrap this up. You could, like... <laughs> <laughs> time to, I think it's lunchtime. I'm gonna start with my glasses. I've had these since high school. Not this exact pair, but glasses. So I wear these all the time. I'm not wearing them now because I don't like wearing them in camera and pictures just because I don't think I look good with them. Second one is the phone. Of course, I don't really need to say much for this. I use it for a lot of stuff, work, yada, yada, blah, blah. Um, third one would be my wallet. I actually changed this wallet about three months ago. I used to carry one of those giant trifolds that every kid in high school has where it looks like George Costanza. I definitely had like eight cards in my wallet and changed to this because I got made fun of at work, Hayato being one of those people. So. Proud of you. <laughs> I only care about what I need in here. It's three cards. I use uh, my debit card, credit card, my license, and then like two bills, maybe like 40 to 50 bucks. Um, and it's perfect. It fits in my front pocket. Uh, it's super thin. It's not like that big bulgy wallet that I used to have. The chapstick, cause you know, car keys. Oh, I say car keys, it's more like apartment keys cause I've got about seven keys here just for my apartment. Uh, my 32, 32 <laughs> ounce water bottle. <laughs> it's a Nalgene. Um, my brother graduated from NSU and I got this when I went to visit him. And it's just perfect because I fill this every day and I try to drink at least 32 ounces a day. For the work stuff, it's mainly a lot of journals, as you can see, and I've got two different kinds. I've got two for like daily tasks and thumbnails and sketches, and then another one that I'm starting up this year to try and get back into drawing, which is just um, sketches of different things around the studio or my apartment. Uh, I guess I'll start with that one. Um, to tell, show you guys what I'm talking about, it's more stuff just like architectural and lines, but sometimes it helps for thumbnails if we're trying to think of ideas for the main channel or whatever. We're trying to think of like, how do we set up, you know, Marquez as a miniature with an iPhone? And we just kind of sketch up what the perspective might look like so we can set up the uh, cameras and the lights and other stuff. So second one of that group is the moleskin. So this is for, uh, more professional stuff, I guess, which is why it's in like a little black book. Um, I use it for logos, like personal stuff, or just daily tasks for what I need to do for the waveform channel or the main channel and, you know, make a thumbnail, make an animation or something or a graphic, and then I just check it off. And then lastly, I just have my little MKBHD journal that I use pretty much for MKBHD stuff. Uh, whether it's merch or thumbnails, I think I have a couple different thumbnail examples in here. I like using red and black pens. Um, I like red for kind of just establishing like a base and that's like my first draft color. And then if it's anything I like, instead of highlighting it or circling it, I go over it again in black and then I know that's one that I think is actually gonna work best. I guess that's my everyday carry separated into two separate things, so. Thanks guys. All right, max time, team dog, head of security, most beloved crew member, probably largest Instagram following after Marquez. Um, I'm obviously giving him a lot of treats here, but he doesn't have much of an everyday carry. Um, 
Right now we're rocking the Cotopaxi collar. It says do good on, actually it just says good because he's a smaller size, but it normally says do good. Um, super stylish, very colorful. Love it, Cotopaxi, great brand. He has a matching leash also, but fun fact, I kind of forgot it today because I haven't taken him back since the break and I had to carry him into the office because while he's really good off leash, there's too many trucks roll by around here. Man, he really knows how to turn the cute on when he has some treats going for him, right buddy? But yeah, this is Team Mac. Mac, good job. Good work. Look at that tail wag. Zoom in on that tail wag. Oh, he stopped wagging. <gasps> oh, get some ASMR, some ASMR crunch. Crunchy ASMR. Oh, <laughs> good job. You did great, and you just got like 10 animal crackers. <laughs> good work. All right, is that a wrap? It's beautiful.